We're gonna get hung up in the trees. Let's see here. I want to put on. I put on. This hook. With a. One inch gulp alive menu. Who I smell the wild onions, dude. Holy cow. We're gonna switch over to the parasitic rod. Try this out and see if it works. Little gulp of men here. That's cheating. <laughs> hey man, nat natural baits are scented. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can't catch fish, remember, I gotta cheat. And those things stink. Oh! I had one! You bastard! I hit my I hit my Adam's apple. It went straight for my Adam's apple. They're biting. They're biting it. This is what I call that eight pound catfish on, so Gotta be on high alert. <laughs> Natural baits are seen too. <laughs> I could put the gulp minnow under a float as well. Kind of keep it suspended in their strike zone a little bit better. Hmm. 
Is that a custom rod? It is. Made by Wolfram Custom Rods. Right here. Live on Twitch. Over on his channel. KJ, what's up? Good to see you. We haven't actually caught anything yet. We've hooked several. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I can get them on here. Oh, shoot. What is that? Holy crap, dude. Huge striped shiner. Huge. I mean, it's huge, dude. Look at it. It's huge. It's huge. And it's gone. Alright, first fish. Strike shiny. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. You too, UFO. Thank you. I got my green on. I always wear green. Got some kind of green on all the time. Oh, I had another one. Bro, come on, bro. Dirt. Dirt. Bro. Oh, God, it's bigger than the last one. What the crap, dude? They're huge. I don't think I've ever caught striped shiners this big. That's a big striped shiner, yeah. Well, those good bait, those are perfect bait, dude. Wisconsin, we're in Tennessee. Yeah, striped shiners and creek chubs are my go to. Son of a gun. Oh, rock bass. Species number two. Yes. The multi species quest has begun. This is a rock bass, or a red eye. People call them red eyes, even though that's a different species. This is a rock bass. Species two. I should be able to hook into a creek chub or a bluegill. We should be able to at least get four species. Catching so many. You ever use a 10 car rod? I've looked into them. I thought about buying one. But, uh, I don't know. I just can't justify the expense. Ooh. Oh, shoot! Largemouth bass! Species number three. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta admit, I didn't expect to catch a largemouth. Even though it's small, it's our third species.
It might be a spot, actually. I think it's a spotted bass. I think. <sighs> Tearing them up. <laughs> you can get them for like five bucks and wish. <laughs> oh, that'd be worth it then. I was looking into like the actual tin car rods that are like freaking 300 bucks. Take me to the river. Alright, where's the uh, Okay. Creek chub. We need a creek chub and a bluegill. We'll have five species. I caught him in this slack off over here. I don't know if there'll be another one down in there or not. <laughs> I love creek fishing, man. Ain't nothing like it. I don't care if they're small fish. I just like I like it more than anything else. Any other type of fishing. Give me creek fishing all day. You know, something else is back. I smell something dead, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. It scares me. JP, what's up, buddy? Nah, my boy's not with me today. Make sure you guys follow JP. We get a shout out for JP. He fishes over in California. Catches them saltwater fish. Ooh, holy crap, dude. There's a bunch. There's a bunch over there. A whole bunch. I've seen like five of them come up and get it. I don't know what they are, though. Oh, that's just so good, man. The creeps are finally, finally turned on. I've been waiting. I've been waiting all winter. I need it. Mm. It must be dinner time. <laughs> Yeah, my wife was cooking dinner at the house, actually, for me. Her and uh, her son. And I was like, I really want to go fishing. Can't wait for lunch hour fishing streams. Ah, those won't be happening in the cave, unfortunately. I might, I might be able to make it happen, I don't know. Dude, they come up and try to bite it, they just swipe at it. That was a big one too. Apple turnovers, whoo, whoo. I love some apple turnovers. They sound really good. They sound really, really good. Yeah, I cast it out there and they come up and swipe at it, man. It's like. Like they're just trying to tell it to get out of their house. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. I'll follow you back, UFO.
must have cleaned out this hole right here. Let's uh let's go on down here a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna make the treacherous walk again. The walk of doom. Mm. Well, there's that's a spooter. I don't want to mess with the spooters. Try this hole right here. Uh, that's a stripe shiner. Smaller, much smaller stripe shiner. I was hoping it was a creek job. Get the next species on the list. Well, if fish talk to each other. Every time you caught me, <laughs> fish like that. I've always wondered if they somehow do that. Oh, shoot. Getting bit all the way across through there. Stall. Still my bait. Oh, I think it's a creek. It is. It is. It is. It's a creek chub. Fourth species. Species number four. Creek chub. Carl, what's up, buddy? Fishing RX, subscribe with Prime. Yo, wait, why did my alerts go off? Fishing RX, thank you for that, man. Appreciate that.
Sweet dreams, how you doing? I don't know why my alert didn't go off. Thank you very much for this, uh, Fishing Mario. With the Twitch Prime. Prime Gaming. Whatever they're calling it now. Yep. Didn't work out too well. That knot in my line is, uh, messing me up a little bit. We got what we got. What we got? Fifth species. It is species number five. Bluegill. <laughs> oh man. Species number five. Bluegill. Unfortunately, I think that's all the species that we're going to be able to catch in this creek. Unless I had uh, some night crawlers or something. Oh, God. Uh, what happened? A lot. There go. That's another bluegill. Bigger bluegill. Oh, look at it. Look at it go. Why are my alerts not working, man? What do you think the water temp is? It's probably right at... It's in the upper 40s to 50. I'd say it's in the upper 40s. Carl, thank you for that subscription, man. I'm sorry my alerts for some reason aren't going off. I'm not sure why that is. Oh, that's why I didn't have the volume up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until I haven't streamed in a while. Son of a gun, dude. A stripe shiner. Yep, stripe shiner. Oh, yes. Let's move to the next hole. We'll leave that one alone for a minute. Ugh. Yeah, man, it's a uh, the Paro Magic Touch Creek Life. Creek Life. What's up, Pleco? There's another streamer. Got JP, Pleco. Uh, Fishing RX, make sure you follow all those people, please. They're my friends. <laughs> my friends.
Oh, it's just it's just a striped sign, but it it excites me. It excites me anyway. I don't care. I'm here for the tranquility, the peacefulness. It's just me and nature. Ain't nobody else out here trying to roll up in my fishing spot or asking me if, hey, you gonna keep that? You ain't gonna keep that, I want it. Ain't nobody. Why are you catching fish? You shouldn't do that. That's, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt the fish. It's, it's, it's lungs are gonna collapse. You don't want the fish's lungs to collapse. Throw it back, hurry. I don't have to deal with any of that. I just fish. What about up there in all that water current uh, in front of the bridge? I've never caught anything there. It's too fast moving. I mean, I could throw it in there and let it drift down, but uh, I've never had much success there. I've always had, I always look for these deep pockets. And they seem to be, they seem to hold up in there pretty good. But I can take you guys up to the waterfall. Actually, no, I can't. I don't have my waders on. There's a big waterfall on up the creek, but I can't get to it. Uh, I probably could. They're biting. They're biting at it. Good grief, man. They are killing it. They're killing it, man. No, they're starting to play with me now. I don't like that. Stop playing with me, man. Playing with my feelings. Don't play with my feelings. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. I thought uh, my little jig head broke there for a minute. Ooh, that was a good fish. I'm not excited, Chad, I promise. Oh, he came off. That wasn't the same one. Something bit, man. It felt heavy. What is this? Holy crap, dude. Uh, this is a PB for me. This is a PB. I, I don't have a scale. I wish I had a scale because it's, this is probably breaks our Creek Chub record, to be honest with you. This is a Creek Chub. It's not a trout. It's not a bass. It's... A Creek Chub. Compared to my hand. This actually, I can't remember what the Creek Chub record is, but I can almost guarantee you that this is pretty close. This thing's huge. <laughs> Dang. What the heck, dude? Yeah, we got shell crackers up here. Uh, a red-eared sunfish. I've only caught a couple in this creek, though. Got it. Man, that creek chub is massive. Massive creek chub.
we were out checking out the creek this evening getting ready heck yeah man it's time it's officially time and I'm so excited so excited yep that was my PB Creek chug for sure that thing was a monster oh I had another one Excitement's wearing me out, man. The excitement. It's too much. They're hitting top water out there, man. Nah, it's all right. Like, I appreciate it, man. I'm probably gonna make a YouTube video out of this uh, at some point. Stripe shiner. Oh, I swear to goodness. They're all over the place. They are all over the place. Putting in order tonight for some more molds. Heck yeah, I'm here to get the water picking up a new rod and reel tomorrow when I'm out for it. Everybody has something new other than some thrown together garage stuff. <laughs> Looking forward to it, man. What kind of rod and reel are you going to get? You stay out of that water, sir. I'll go get my waders. I think they still... Nope, they didn't. Oh, man. That blarbers tore me up. No mm, pricks, man. What in the world? Oh, <laughs> I had a fish on it. Yep, that was a stripe shiner again. Seems to be the fish. Fish of the day. Man, 
that, that's 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 another stripe shiner. I have no clue really, something like medium, I want to focus mainly on pan fishing bass. Yeah, I would say the banana rod. Get them a Bass Pro Shop, it's a, just a yellow ultra light, I mean it's a ultra, ultra light. But, I don't know man, banana, banana rod is definitely a good pan fishing rod. The fluker president attached to it. I gotta get that knot. That knot in my line is driving me crazy. Stripe shiner. They're beat up too, man. Looks like something's been eating on them. Holy cow. There must be a big fish in there. Should I throw a bigger a bigger lure? It's not spawning. They're not spawning yet, so I mean it's not it's not because of that. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting we're getting into school of striped shiners here. Start going on soon because I'm gonna be also gonna stream it sweet. Uh, I don't know if they would have a, a banana rod or not, but I'm sure you could find what you what you need there. They're all over the place over there. It's full. It's full of them. Stacked to the brim. I figured I was, I was thinking I'd get something different. I was like, I'm gonna cast a little closer to that tree. There's got to be a rock bass in there or something, but it's not a rock bass. But we did get a bluegill instead of a striped shiner. It's hard to, it's hard to feel them sometimes. I 
There he is. What is this? Oh, red eye. I mean, I'm sorry, not a red eye. Rock bass. I told you. We just mentioned rock bass. There he is. That's our second rock bass. Still only five species. Whew. <laughs> Culpable. <laughs> yeah, 90 minutes is a, it's a long trip. Oh, no. Okay. I cast it right into those roots. The roots of doom. I just need my new rod and reel since I can make my own plastics now. Let's get <laughs> yeah, Copa will, uh, if you haven't already followed, follow Trav, he makes some freaking awesome soft plastics, uh, along, along with all the other great soft plastic makers and, that we've got in the community. We're getting into the rock bass now. <laughs> we didn't cold out the, the striped shiners. It's rock bass time. <laughs> 